Good evening. It's thank you remote for the space. It is a pleasure to be here in the presence of a such responsible crowd. There's so much amazing uh, initiatives here. And what I'm going to share with you is probably something that you're already well aware, but when it comes to responsible travel, I believe it's never too much to reinforce it. The question today is no longer if responsible tourism works. Hundreds of case studies around the world already states that it does. Rather, the question today is how far can the travel industry take up responsible principles so in order to preserve uh, cultural and natural treasures which are our own business depends on. So why tourism is so important? Well, for instance, last year we had 1.4 billion travelers around the world. That stands for 20% of the population. Also, tourism stands for, I think that is not billions, it's 8.3 trillion US dollars. It also stands for 10% of the global GDP and 10% of the global employment. So, we establish that tourism is important and we rely on the local communities and the natural environment to do our business. No matter your size, small, medium, uh, we do have an impact and that impact can be a positive impact. Uh, what I can share with you from 20 years in operating tours within a responsible chain of tourism is that it's easy to start, to take up and multiply. And more than that, it's our moral duty. Uh, so, since I have only three minutes left, <laughs> let, <laughs> let me break down real quick the chain for you guys. Uh, so, there's a lot of players and many uh, complex interrelationships. But actually, there is, it's very easy. It's a, there is a golden rule for that. It's everyone, each one of the players, have to be responsible in order for the complex relationships to make a positive impact. And even easier than that, we have three main roles, uh, which are the community role, community and government, uh, the traveler role, and the business role, which are it's what I'm here to talk about today. So also breaking down in three major as, uh, aspects in indicators for later. Economic aspects like uh, employee wages, benefits, are you buying local, corporate responsibilities, taxes, are you leaving most of the revenue local? Uh, environmental aspects like energy, water, waste management, uh, contributions to nature, to the historical built conservations, uh, emissions, purchasing guidelines, not only by local, by, by responsible. Uh, and also, of course, the social cultural aspects, since equal opportunities of gender, human rights, uh, workplace conditions, training and education, engaging with the economics of the local community, and etc. So these aspects are easy to map in each company. Uh, so what I want to share with you is actually, you can start today. You don't necessarily need a certification. You have plenty of free support, many guidelines online. Uh, start by mapping uh, the key aspects in your businesses. And uh, pick one, maybe two. Uh, doable, set a goal for the semester, and once established, go for some more. Spread the word. Because if more and more of us are doing it, the public is more and more aware and then sustainable tourism, responsible tourism, should be the start point of how people consume tourism in the world. And with that, together, I believe we can make the change. Thank you so much. Hello.